I like how they're looking down on me. It's like, <laughs> what are you doing, Sophia? It's called Teabag. What's up, guys? We get zero reviews here. My name is Talos. And yes, we are at the end game with the game known as Pokemon Scarlet. So, yes, we are back with some more. Um, but yes, uh, in the previous episode, we basically entered the Area Zero with our Avengers-like group. We are missing a fifth member, so but I, I guess the fifth member will be Cordon, if you will. Uh, he's almost like our Hulk, you know, our Hulk Smash. But uh, yes, yeah, so we have that. We have the Archer, we have the uh, Captain America, <laughs> I guess. I, well, maybe I'm Captain America. And then this is like, uh, we have our, uh, we have our uh, Iron Man, and then we have a... Uh, what are you supposed to be anyway? <laughs> I don't know. I know she's gonna be like, uh, what is it called? The Scar Giants character. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Avengers, assemble. Anyway, let us continue onwards. We still have two more of these uh, these research facilities to find and find out what's going on with Professor Sada because she's kind of freaking me out. Kind of freaking me out. What are your parents like, Nimona? My parents are normal, I guess. Are you serious? Uh, even, I, I know about your dad. He's on a board with the uh, Rotom phone company. Wait, how do you know about that? Everyone knows about it. It's famous, but I guess I looked into him for my own reasons too. So, Nomo's actually some pampered little princess from a rich family? Uh, no way. That's not my thing. Though, yeah. I mean, you have a big ass house too, by the way. Um, not for the way, hands up. My big sister probably ticked over the business, so she pretty much let me do what I wanted. Wait, you call her mother and father? That is some pepper little princess stuff right there. Uh, uh, Penny, what's your family super? My family is unbelievably annoying. It's like super overprotective, you, you mean? Yeah, it's just my dad. He's not loud, cringy. It makes me a weird nickname like Pen Pen. That's the most annoying guy in the world, period. He's the worst. Man, that's a real dad for, for your dad, after all. Having your own daughter to scram like that. Don't you dare take a side. Uh, Sophia, what about you? Your mother seems super nice. You, you met her! Yep, just a glimpse of the amazingly looking, amazing looking, what? Really, I wish I could have seen that, I bet it tastes great. We're talking about the pie, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Before it gets to PG-13. I wish I could use Cordon. So slow, everything's so far away. Wait, pick up the item, pick up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, it's a PPM. You need that pee, -pee up. <laughs> Should we change that name though, by the way? I feel like I'm going the right way, but also not. Wait, go up. Let me go up. Oh yeah. Now that I'm here, okay. Let's let's go do a quick a uh, uh, check on items for that I can use for TMs. So I might do a quick time lapse of this because uh, this is just kind of like seeing what I can learn, but I will be right back. All right, I think that's it. Fantastic. All right. So I'll definitely leave that, the surprises of the, the new moves. Obviously, um, I will definitely, uh, I, I try my best to kind of give a, my Pokemon like a variety of different moves. Like now I still, I, I still have a Pokemon that cannot use uh, uh, electricity moves, so that's the only element that I don't really have. So hopefully that's not going to be a a bad thing as you roll into onto bash, 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 bash. It's okay. It's only the mailman. It's only the mailman. It's only the mailman. Only the mailman. Don't worry. You're protecting daddy. You're protecting daddy. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? All right. Here's the third one. All right. Another research station. Nice. We had to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out of us again. 100% guaranteed. <laughs> oh, Penny, such a water worry. What? What? Huh? There it is. 
There's the freaking Don fan they were talking about earlier. See? See? I told you! Wait a second. This is just one of that tiny Pokemon we saw. So it was an ancient Pokemon all along. Whoa! You battled one of these before? Arvin? It's so seriously strong. Yeah, well, Sophie and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave it us. Go fierce, Mabosif. The Great Tusk. All right. Super effective. Eh, not the greatest effective, but effective enough. Oh, never, never mind. I stand corrected. It was just the right amount of, right amount of affection. Affection? Yeah. Effect effectiveness. See that? Victory's ours! Maybe the one we saw when we were researching out of the Herbal Mystical came back from down here. You two got one of those Pokemon before our crater get together? Jealous! Uh, if you got things from, you know, literal ancient times roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Asada doing anything to keep them from other control? How, how could she let this happen? Yeah, right! Because it's not like oh so brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up. Come on, Sophia. Let's get that research station. And made it to the station number three. Uh, how are we doing all about walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need to rest? <laughs> mm. You feeling rough, Benny? Mm, no, no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since that professor mentioned the that time machine. The machine... Pokemon here in Area Zeta came to our time from the past, right? So what about Cordon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those ancient Pokemon? You're right! Huh? I think you're into something. It's just kind of giving ancient vibes. Even if its name sounds so pasty. Now... Interesting enough, I believe, if I recall correctly, because I play, uh, I do a lot of unboxings on my channel and whatnot about the ancients in, in the futures. If you play Violet, obviously that Pokemon probably came from the future to our time. So, I wonder what the the dialogue is. Was it's probably a little bit, it's probably the same mostly, but it's probably a little bit different uh, when it comes to talking about the uh, the future Pokemon in the uh, Pokemon Sc Violet. Wait a second, I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin. You had Cordon's ball, and you told us about his foreman's first place. You must know something about, right? Yeah, you still remember that way back? Yeah, no wonder you're everyone's little star pupil. Guess I have no choice but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon Cordon, that is. It was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it was best for me to take over the expedition from that point. P Professor? Cordon, which I entrusted to Sophia, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the past by the time machine. Seriously? I was gonna say that! Though analysts of his genetic makeup as well as behavior patterns, I can suggest that I came to realize that I had discovered was in fact an ancient form of uh, Cyclozar. The Pokemon still common riddles in its, this uh, region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time. But I was not I was never able to uh, bring over more than two species of Corridon. Huh? You mean there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? The other one could be like somewhere in, in Area Zero wait, wait, waiting to finally be reunited with our Corridon. A heartwarming family reunion. Or violent, with death and blood and violence. Anyway, exactly. I imagine how thrilled they might be if we get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. What about my mom and my family? It's, always, it's not always about you. But if you proceed, Sophia, please disable the next, uh, you know, you know, I'm back there. There's a book there too, I noticed that. Was it always there? For like the other, um... The other po pods. I wonder if I can read that book. Well done. 
Only one remain now. Good luck to the final research. Oh, I can. Oh, that's cool. Okay, some more backstory. So I really don't want to go to the other, the other ones though, to, to read it. Uh, let's let's heal up, I guess. Ooh, it's probably inside that cave. So Korra's an ancient Pokemon. No wonder no one's seen before. Sophia, you gotta let me battle Korra right now. Uh, it still won't come out as a Pokeball. Keep that in mind. Oh, right. That was the first I heard of it coming from the past myself. It was just some weird Pokemon from Mom brought home all of a sudden one day. And we all lived together in the lighthouse for a little while. My mom maybe promised to keep it a secret, but I had to keep it, take care of her, you know, my, myself. So that's why you knew all about it. Yeah, but one day the Porygon just went nuts but after some wild Pokemon. A few of the folks that lived nearby ended up seeing it, so secrets out. Once that happened, my mom took it and went back to Area Zero. Guess that makes sense of the Pokemon from the different age. Yeah, we found, found out it was all over the news. I didn't even see my mom and Cordon together for that for ages. Looking back at it, it seems stupid, but I felt like I'm... Oh man, I'm just trying to read that dialogue. I just hated the Cordon never about it. Didn't even want to talk about it. I'm sorry but I'm not telling for what I knew sooner, Sophia. You should be sorry. Shoot, like, just like the coolest thing ever. You didn't even tell any of us. Sure, yeah, we'll get all the relevant information. Dang, guys, harsh! Oh my gosh! Look at those huge, gorgeous crystals. And they're all way in the bottom. I went, I went, I went how much they cost. Well, oh, I see the lab right there. One slip and we kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the professor's down there somewhere. I mean, my mom. Wait for us. Nah, nah, it's fine. Totally fine. I'm fine. You're fine. Everyone's fine. Okay, shut up. All right, team. Team assemble. Watch your out. Watch yourselves, and let's get back to the bottom of this thing. Avengers assemble. So he is Captain America. <laughs> this looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down there, like the stories say. Yeah, but this place, you know, sometimes for the whole of the world, you know, you know, you know, back in time. Makes you feel like you're maybe already dead or something and went somewhere to the timeline, different timeline, multiverse. Is this just me or do the crystals give off like some kind of glow when the Pokemon's dress lies? There's gotta be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Let's touch it. I mean, no, don't touch it. Come on, everyone. Let's keep moving. We got all the way down. Let's do this. All right. Ooh, we can, we, can, we can catch this Pokemon now. I kind of want to catch this one. <laughs> this is drifting away. Yeah, that's fine. I, I can always come back here on my own time. Well, maybe, right? I'm pretty sure we can go back here. Unless that's part of the DLC or something. Ooh, mischievous. That's a cool Pokemon to have. Ghost type. Doug 3. Oh, we got that weird Jigglypuff. Which I actually do want. <laughs> I do want this Pokemon. Let me catch it real quick, guys. There we go. Plenty. I know we don't catch Pokemon in in the recordings, but I had to crap, capture this one. Now it's a way- Oh, Hyper Voice! Okay, good, 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 good. Tiger Ball, this should work now. We have plenty of time now. Boom! It has that little red thing, kind of, kind of matches like the Jigglypuff's tail. So that's why I really want to use that Pokeball. And also kind of fitting as well. Timer. Screen tail, very nice. That's a pretty good name already, but I'm gonna call you Screamer. <laughs> not, 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 not super original. All right, this is the final one. And I'm pretty sure we have to go deeper because I saw, I saw something down there as well. Like, like a castle of some sort. Yeah, there it is, a little building. So that's probably our final destination. There's actually no Pokemon in battle this time? Ooh, it's all crystallized in here. That's cool. 
Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess. Looks like something went berserk in here. Ooh, is it a boss? Is it a boss? Yeah, but what? Yeah, but what? Hello, children. I'm getting weird now. Gah, professor, you scared us. I'm, I'm sorry. Not really. Well, why is everything here so busted up? I'm sorry. Uh, hello, children. Come again? I'm so sorry. So sorry. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Hello, children. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, damn. What the heck? Stop that. You're creeping me out. Hello, children. Children. Initiating restart. Yep. Yep, the, 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 my theories have come to fruition. But then again, Pokemon games are pretty predictable. The professor must have having some weird seizure or something? Well, it's definitely weird. At least, almost like, I don't know. If she meant that as a joke, it wasn't funny. I still got goosebumps and all. Ugh. Let's say damage, I feel maybe some furious Pokemon battle here. Have you disabled the lock yet? I'm leaving this place as soon as possible. Yeah, it's almost like, uh, okay. My mom! Uh, hello, King. Okay. I like how the hello is like a different character. Can you hear me now? Please forgive me, my previous transmission, there seems to be some signal interference. That's not what that was. Don't be joshing me. Uh, what do you mean, Arvin? Uh, the Lux has been able to say, but at last, uh, I mean, please make your way down to Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of the area zero. Okay, let's rest first. There's a book there I want to read as well. Maybe get some more backstory. My new assistant has intelligence and, and technical skills to rival my own. A bit rigid at times, but as I got no serious complaints. Productivity has doubled. You even brought in a second cordon via the machine, though this one has proven aggressive. Okay. I mean, mom's are normally pretty aggressive. Okay, let's, let's leave. There was some, some definitely off of the professor just now, right? Maybe it's just a little dramatic flair to get us all jazzed up for more adventuring. What? They, they got you jazzed? Yeah, maybe even a little bit, you know, big time jazz. You need to go see a doctor, that's not right. Say, I'm pretty sure that call was really... Uh, never mind, it's nothing. Well, what's wrong, Arvin? Talk to me. You seem kind of down. No matter how things turn out, I'm counting on you to see it through, Sophia. Okay. This will go down. Okay, no. Go down here, I guess. Right? What the jeez? Oh, here. Okay. <laughs> Pokemon are not that confusing. Ooh, what is that? Okay. That's cool. And a dark one as well. Darkness! We are getting po we're, we're getting close to the end, end of this episode as well, so... Wow, does it lead to a dead end? No. Did I, <laughs> did I miss it? Okay. I, I think I found it finally. <laughs> I think I, I think I just went the entire way around, maybe. Yeah, this, this, is, this is it. This is it, guys. Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it. Ray, see those legends of treasures down here for real. <laughs> yeah, right. They just flip the right, you know, to fill up some, some textbooks. Who the hell's calling us at this ungodly hour? Hello, children. You done well to make it here. The structure you've seen before you is Zero Lab. That's where you were right, Professor, right? But wait, why does it look like a whole place is being swallowed up by the crystals? The crystals here in areas you possess a particular energy. 
This energy can alter the functions of living things and to optimize the performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So is the entire building being terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvid. Professor implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made of the crystal down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate to the Zero Lab should now open for you. And once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely break, you know, for freedom, you know. Sounds like a problem. With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Hopefully, right? Prepare says, well, then open that gate. You got me and Sophia here. No matter, we're up for anything. We're fine. <laughs> well then, we'll put all my worries to rest then. All right, wow. Do this. Open the gates to Zero Lab. You decide to press the button. Hold it. Hold do, 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 those tippy fingers of yours. Huh, why? We're finally at the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, it is it's true that a bunch of dangerous Pokemon are out there to come and get us. I mean, shouldn't we always have Cordon's help? Yeah, but if Cordon would like, you know, how he first saw it in uh, uh, in Gretto, that'll be a huge help. I want to see it battle. Uh, but it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. And it can't even enter his own battle in his own place. In his own place. But it's really strong. I know it is. I just know it. It ate all those herbal miscals you found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it will fight. And the area zero is where he used to live. If you bring it out in the ball now, maybe he'll be able to find his family too, you know. Right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Come on, Sophia. Let Cordon out. All right, let's do this. I guess. All right, come on, Sophia. Now that we got Cordon ready, it's time to open that gate. Feels like we're laying something out, not keeping something in. Oh, what's that? Is that the mommy? Or the brother? Oh, there it is! Yeah! The family reunion, it's happening! Wait, 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 no way! He must be like the alpha and this is the beta. Yeah! Yes? No, something's not right. He wants to go back inside. You better follow me, brother. Aww. No, he's so cute. So... You definitely hurt him for sure. Yes. What's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family union got cut off so quickly? Are you joking? <laughs> There's nothing horrible about it at all. We were this close to being caught up in some nasty brawl. Wait, for real? You idiot! Still a cordon. Poor thing's terrified. Guess that other thing isn't exactly a pal. Yeah! That other Pokemon were giving off some real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry a thing about it though, though. You're fine. Once we get you back in your battle form, I'm sure you can take Tojo against that jerk. But you know, if you want to. Chaos. So, so sorry, guess that didn't really help, huh? Do you think that other Cordon is one of the dangerous Pokemon that uh, Professor warned us about to, you know, watch out for? But didn't the professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come out from inside? 
You mean from inside the gate we just... Oh boy. Oh boy. Fry free rumble! What the? Music getting more intense. Good transition there. I'm 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 like a. I used to be a music te technician, so I, I like a lot of that subtle details. We're surrounded, and, and it's pretty obvious we're there. To, they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome mat. There's no way we can handle this many. And don't tell me they're all ancient Pokemon. They look ancient. We got a little disaster in our hands here. Yes. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. Then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Sophia. Let's do this together. I wonder if it's like a back-to-back -back battle. It probably has to. Alright, here's the let's do Let's do this. Uh, yeah, super effective, baby. On that great tusk. Insta kill. I love it. That's a lot of experience points. God damn. Holy Jesus. Wow, they're strong. Now this is a worth. You didn't even do anything. At least in that regard. I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying with that stuff. <laughs> Say stuff like that. <laughs> I like Penny. I really do like Penny. Yeah, they're coming at me. Sophia, help me out here. I have. Uh, I'm assuming that's grass. Yeah, I think that's grass. It might be. Um, I'm gonna say grass. Attack fell, flamethrower. Super effective. I guess right. Every, every time I see green, like I, I assume grass, but it's not always the case. So I gotta watch out for that. All right, I don't need to do a blitz because that damages me. Get that experience points, I love it. Yeah, the ancient pass must be very terrifying. Ah, yes! Yes! Oh no, they're running away! Oh no! <laughs> yeah! And? If those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have the gigantic mess in our hands. Okay, go after him, Penny. Wh why me? Wait! Yeah, hold on! Why do I think I feel you're enjoying all this? Hope the- Oh! Hope those two get handled their part! But at least the crowd's been, been thinned out. Gets up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for the strong looking one over there. That must be the mama. Hey, moms. <laughs> God damn, Arvin. God damn. All right, ghost type. Ghost and flying, I think. Intimidate, I love it. All right, uh, Terra Blast, because I'm not really sure what it's weak to right now. I'm pretty sure it's not weak to fire. Doesn't affect Mombosa. That's good. That's good. Doesn't affect. No. <laughs> oh wait. Wow. Okay. So dark moves. Okay. What about air slash? That works. That works beautifully. See, the power of friendship had us perfectly in sync. All thanks to that tight horn together. Power of friendship. You had to go there, man. Still scared, huh? You were you might face that other one of your kind? Well then, let me take on some of the burden. These stragglers will have, should be nothing. Me and Mimosa can take them out. Rough. So Sophia, you take your partner there and go take care of business. Make some money. Got it. <laughs> Glad to see you got some faith in this at last. Mimosif can't wait to battle either. Cordon. 
you really ruined my whole childhood, you know. But it's not like seeing you carrying a scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You got amazing power, so just use them. And you got us too, so. So. So you don't have to even think about losing that jerk. Be brave, stand up, and fight. Oh, yeah. All right, cool beans. All right, guys, that pretty much includes this episode. Wow, what a journey, what a journey. And um, I'm actually very, very excited to see where this includes. The next part, I mentioned this probably numerous times already, but the next part should in theory, maybe maybe even two part or more, sometimes maybe, could be the last episode tomorrow. Tomorrow? Next week, yeah, next week. But uh, love you guys so much. Uh, thank you guys so much for viewing this, again, amazing journey. And we actually completed the game, like like fully, 100%, um, as soon as we get to that last final portion and see what Professor, maybe save Professor uh, Sada now, because if that Pokemon is coming that direction, where she is, I would imagine, she's probably gonna die. And it's up to us to save uh, or Arvid's mom. But anyway, I'm never rambling, guys. We'll see you there. My name is Talos. This is, of course, Pokemon Scarlet. And I'll definitely see you next time. Peace.